Hello everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. And so in this video, we'll be talking about Fiona. So Fiona is intensifying and should become a hurricane by later today. And there are various watches and warnings that are in place. So some very dangerous life-threatening conditions are likely across sections of uh, areas that are under watches and warnings. And so we'll be talking about all of that as well as what is overall anticipated from the cyclone. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe and tap the bell so that you never miss an update video uh, talking about what's happening in the tropics and also guys I want to say a big thank you to every single one of you who've subscribed to my channel it really means a lot and now to be over 9,000 subscribers is just crazy like a 15 year old me a few years ago would never see this coming but I'm so grateful and I'm so happy to keep you guys updated on what's happening in the tropics because meteorology is my passion and it's just something that I just love to do so of course i'll always be doing these update videos no matter what uh, to keep you guys posted on what is happening out there all right and so let's go ahead and talk about fiona as well as another disturbance out there so now we're looking at current infrared satellite and we're seeing here that there we have fiona in the northeastern caribbean and there's another disturbance that is located out there in the tropics and so that disturbance is given a low chance to develop right now a 20 percent chance of uh, the chance has been constant for it ever since it was identified as a disturbance and so uh, while it lingers around out in the open waters of the Atlantic it might get itself together and we could see something become of it but it isn't likely to be a threat to land as of right now but the main treat of this video is Fiona so looking at a closer side eye view of Fiona right now we're seeing here that the storm isn't very organized but it is getting there and as a matter of fact it is intensifying so uh, where we're seeing those white dots that's indicating lightning strikes within the cyclone a lot of deep convection a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity associated with Fiona and all of this is going to be making its way to, sec uh, to sections of Puerto Rico as well as the Dominican Republic over the next several days. So let's now go ahead to what the National Hurricane Center is expecting for it and so here we have the cone forecast and as of right now Fiona has maximum sustained winds of 65 miles per hour and it is accelerating towards the west northwest at 8 miles per hour so it's not a quick moving cyclone so it's going to be loitering within the area for the next couple of days and i mean uh days of heavy rainfall strong winds even that storm surge can be very very life-threatening for persons that are not in a safe area but i mean the storm is closing in right now so guys please if you haven't begun preparing for the cyclone please do so uh in any tropical cyclone the main concern and the main cause of death is with the water and for fiona moving this slow and going to be lingering about and strengthening uh it might be pretty significant in these areas under watches and warnings and just to give those areas so hurricane warning which is highlighted in red is in effect for puerto rico including vieques and culebra the coast of the dominican republic from cabo caucedo to cabo francis viejo and then we have a hurricane watch which is in pink that is in effect for the u.s virgin islands the north coast of the dominican republic from cabo francis viejo westward to Puerto Plata and then a tropical storm warning which is in blue that is in effect for the U.S. Virgin Islands, the British Virgin Islands and the north coast of the Dominican Republic from Cabo Francis Viejo westward to Puerto Plata and then a tropical storm watch which is in yellow is in effect for the south coast of the Dominican Republic westward to Cabo Caucedo to Barahona and then the Turks and Caicos Islands and southeastern Bahamas and so guys uh, those hurricane conditions should bear down on Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic as we progress into later today and again it's going to be resulting in some very dangerous conditions in terms of that uh, very heavy rainfall those strong winds and that storm surge and because it's going to be loitering so much uh, that inland flooding is more probable uh, as a result of heavy persistent rainfall across the region guys so again if you haven't begun preparing please do so please take all the necessary precautions and do not take any on necessary risks and then uh, Fiona should intensify near major hurricane strength by the end of this week we see that the cone forecast expects that the center will be just uh, in the vicinity of Bermuda but I would say that if you're in the small island you should be keeping an eye on this because even if the center passes uh, west of you guys 
that's just the center of it. It's not showing the size. You could still potentially be in the eye wall of it at the time and still endure some major impacts. But the good news is that Fiona should increase in its acceleration up to the northeast by uh, the midweek as we're going to be heading into the lesser parts of this week. So it should accelerate uh, much faster out into the open waters of the Atlantic once it makes that curve. All right, guys. And so let's go ahead and take a look at conditions in the vicinity of Fiona. And we are talking about the wind shear now so the wind shear has been a problem for fiona ever since it developed it's the reason we haven't seen it uh intensified into a major major storm right now because i mean uh if it was in highly conducive conditions imagine the kind of intensity that we would be looking at so uh the wind shear is still a bit of a problem for these cyclones it's going to be helping to keep the intensity of it at a minimum so just gradual strengthening of the system is expected over the next several days so that is some good news with it at least we have that wind shear helping to suppress the intensity of the cyclone Maybe Meanwhile, a bit of dry air lingers within the region for Fiona, but we're seeing here that it is not a whole lot. Uh, the dry air within Fiona is not in abundance right now. So that is not really a big problem for the cyclone. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the model track guidance so let's go ahead and see the track that the various models are expecting and they are all agreeing on that general uh movement up to the northwest and that curve back out that northeastward movement afterwards and all of these models are keeping the center of fiona uh, to the west of the island of bermuda but again things can change we're still pretty far out we're talking about something that should happen within the next several days and things can change guys so uh let's see what's going to be happening with it but again if you're in Bermuda, you want to keep an eye on Fiona because it could make its way by uh, and be in very close proximity to the island to the point where watches or warnings might be required. And then as for the model intensity guidance here, we're seeing that all models expect that Fiona will intensify into a hurricane some a lot of them showing even a major hurricane, some showing a Category 4 hurricane at the maximum from Fiona. And I wouldn't be surprised uh, with this outcome because, I mean, we're in the heart of the hurricane season and conditions are expected to become a lot more favorable out there. But the good news is that uh, hopefully this won't be at a time when Fiona is a threat to land. So that is what is anticipated by the various models guys on the model intensity guidance and the track guidance. So Fiona is a very dangerous storm that is going to be causing all that heavy rainfall, storm surge, strong winds across sections of uh, the northeastern Caribbean and even the mudslides are going to, and even mudslides will be possible because of all of that torrential rain that is expected. So I implore you to all take the necessary precautions cautions and stay safe i will keep reiterating that and of course i'm going to be keeping you guys updated on what is happening with the cyclone as time goes by and that is really it for this update video so if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best innocent as i can and of course remember to always be with wise